Hi, I'm Aldo Canepa here for your Cougar News Spotlight. I'm sitting here in beautiful Canyon Country in Canyon High School at Harry Welch Stadium, a home of the Canyon Cowboys. And um, today, for today's spotlight, I'll be talking to a coach, a teacher, and a family man, Cesar Revelo. Enjoy. And uh, let's see, I started off coaching football in 2005, and for three years I was an assistant on JV, and then I was the freshman football head coach for three years, and then JV head coach for two years. I loved the lower level coaching, I really did. Um, the fact that I'm building the base for what will come, you know, I'm laying the foundation of the program. I love that aspect, and, and to be honest, I like the fact that our uh, head coaches had trusted me with that. I'm taking a little hiatus from coaching at Canyon uh, in order to invest a little bit more time in my boys. Um, they're, they're interesting kids, and, uh, and I feel like right now they, they need me a little bit more than Canyon needs me. Uh, but they're both very, very different kids. I mean, my older son, Nicholas, is, uh, is a baseball kid. He's very analytical. He's very... Uh, He's about the process. He wants to know everything about the process before he kind of sets foot into it. And my younger son, Aiden, is very uh, experiential. He, he really wants to stick his hands in it and get dirty and, under, and you know get in it before he decides if he wants to do it or not. I teach English. Um, and it's a funny story because English isn't my first language. Um, but by the time I was in kindergarten, I was fluent in both English and Spanish. I figured out really early that um, the better my English was, the more well-spoken I was, the more kind of people automatically respected you. Um, and I, you know, figured out the power of words is, is pretty strong, even, um, you know, little things. If you speak well, people automatically give you a little bit more credit. If you can articulate your position well, that, that's, there's power to that, you know, and people really want that. There, and there are not a lot of people that can do that. Um, so you, if you use your intelligence and your vocabulary, use it to your advantage. You know, be as, as well-spoken as you possibly can. And so I think you should, you know, use your vocabulary to your advantage. And there you go, a man who can't really describe himself in one word. Cesar Revelo, I'd like to thank you for today. And once again, for your Cougar News Spotlight, I'm Aldo Canepa.